Can animals really predict earthquakes? Because my dog can't even figure out when I'm actually throwing a ball and when I'm faking it. So, seems like a stretch. Anthony here for DNews, and last week a story from a couple months ago was circulating around about Japanese oarfish, these 50 foot long fish that have been beaching themselves. And according to Japanese folklore, oarfish only do that right before an earthquake. And you've probably heard that about a lot of animals, you know, dogs, birds, cattle, that they can supposedly tell when there will be an earthquake or a storm. But how true is that? You know, in the case of the oarfish, there wasn't enough evidence to draw a definite conclusion, but marine biologists don't rule it out entirely. And during the 2004 tsunami in South East Asia, 200,000 people died, but the wild animal population didn't seem to be affected much at all. So there's definitely something going on. And what we do know is that animals have very different senses than us. For instance, hearing. We hear a range of sound from about 20 to 20,000 hertz. If you were a cow and you had that range of hearing, you would be the lamest cow because they hear from 16 to 40,000 hertz. Now that may not sound like much of a difference on the low end, but it's a big deal because those low sounds are called infrasonics and earthquakes and waves make them. So a herd of cattle might not know that there's an earthquake coming exactly, but they definitely hear something very low and unfamiliar. So what about animals that don't hear infrasonics? Dogs don't, but there are stories about them reacting to earthquakes too. Well, just a few weeks ago, new research was released showing that that spin that dogs do before they poop is them trying to align to magnetic north and south meaning that they might have magnetoception, a sixth sense that makes them sensitive to Earth's magnetic field. In an older D-News, I talked about how birds use it to migrate. Researchers that happen to be using magnetometers during earthquakes have found that the Earth's magnetic field fluctuates weirdly, but slightly in the time leading up to an earthquake. And it could be that dogs and other wild animals sense that strangeness and respond to it. Other animals like elephants seem to have areas on them that are much more touch sensitive than our own senses, allowing them to feel slight tremors and shock waves before an earthquake that we can't even notice. Some beetles, moths, and aphids are super sensitive to changes in air pressure, like the kinds that happen before storms. How do we know? They stop having sex. Well, they don't stop, but they try a lot less hard to get something going. They don't put out pheromones to attract a mate, and if they're placed right next to a potential mate, like they'll still do it, but they don't go through any of the usual pre-mating rituals. They just get in, get out, and get undercover. So in a way, yes, animals can predict storms and earthquakes, but they don't consciously know what's putting them off. You might have also noticed that all these conditions are the kind that happens right before the disaster. As far as oarfish knowing weeks ahead of time or dogs getting skittish days before a storm, well, we don't have any proof of that. Animals might know a few minutes ahead of time, but it doesn't seem like it would be far enough ahead to help us accurately predict when disaster's going to strike. Does your pet seem to act up before a storm? And do you think that animals might still have some predictive abilities that we just haven't found yet? Let me know and subscribe for more D-News.